even our skills are powerless before them. Continuing to persist here is meaningless. It will only serve to thin our ranks. After all this time, we finally found a clue that may lead us to the Great One. Respect. The phenomenon space surrounding this planet is only 800 exodits in diameter. Three days at light speed is more than enough to scour it thoroughly. If the Great One or the Samar Federation homeland were here, don't you think we would have found something by now? Hmm. It's one thing to engage the enemy all the way out near that forsaken chunk of rock they call Earth. But then to be swallowed up by that strange light and dumped off here in this primordial hellhole? Are we cursed? And trapped with humans of all things. It's like some sick joke. If someone told me this was death, I'd believe them. All the more reason to persist. We must retrieve it if we ever hope to escape the confines of this phenomenon. Grandmaster Luxon. Speak. I bring news. Hmm. Really? And he could be trusted? Most interesting. Yes, a most interesting proposal indeed. That was a meal. I'm impressed, Lynn. My team could learn a thing or two. I'm glad you liked it. But you didn't stop by just for a meal, did you? No. You know me, Elma. It's about a job. It would seem to us the good sir would like to pick our brain. Of course, we will gladly let him in one ear and out the other. Almost, El. Almost that time. An alien mech? What type? No idea. It doesn't match anything on record as far as I can tell. No one's seen anything like it. Looks abandoned too. Totally ripe for the pick. Oh man, you're giving me goosebumps! Right. It's located here. That's pretty deep in Noctilum. No wonder you wanted to talk to L. Exactly. But here's the rub. Ganglion are after it too. From what we can tell over Frontier now, they've gone after it several times already. And failed. Well, yes, that doesn't surprise us in the least. That's tainted land. Tainted? That doesn't sound good. They are savage beasts. Ferocious. Territory. They only dwell deep within the space. 
specific part of the forest there. Although it doesn't seem right to even call it a forest anymore. Why do you say that? Because the tainted devour any and all living things, apart from other tainted, that is. It, you mean even mighty Tatsu Nelson? Indeed, you would be swallowed whole. The tainted would make no bones about you, I'm afraid. Interesting. It must be formidable to be defeating a gang of no over and over. But if what else says is true, it could work in our favor. Bodies are artificial mints. If the tainted don't perceive us as living things, we might be safe. Let's back up a sec. You reported all this to the commander? Our top priority above all else is a peacekeeper searching for the life of Are you suggesting we set that aside to try and recover this mech? Exactly. Commander Vandom is why I'm here. I specifically request that I enlist your chief. It's just as you say. There's no time for us to screw around. We still absolutely need to find the life hole. But remember, the fact is we're also dealing with hostile Xenos here. Xenos who destroyed Earth and want every last one of us dead. Xenos who also seem to want this and desperately. Hmm. And if it's that important to them. Right. What if it's a secret weapon powerful enough to tip the scales? Feels like a bit of a long shot, to be honest. But okay. Even if we can't use it, we should at least keep it from a gangway. Count us in. Any objections? No, ma'am. Glad to hear. But if we're going to take this on, we'll need to keep it quick. Roger that. Ellen Tatsu, you hang back. Unlike us, the tainted can target you guys for sure. Oh, most considerable to you, good sirs. Oh, Finley! Finley care about Tatsu after all! Well, of course. After all this time watching over you and fattening you up, I'm not about to let my prized turkey go to some rabid indigent. Everybody set? Yes, sir. Ready to go. Someone's excited. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, it's pretty amazing you made White Whale crew at your age. You have family here? My mom and dad passed away. They didn't make it. Ah, uh, that day? The attack on Earth? No, sir. It was before that. An accident. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. My parents were both design engineers who worked on the White Whale project. But there was a mishap with the primary engine test. Still, it's thanks to them and people like them that the rest of us are all still here, you know? They made the White Whale space work, so they didn't die in vain. At least, that's what I like to think. I see. So they gave you a spot on the White Whale to say thanks. Thanks to your parents for all their hard work. It's a debt I try to repay every day, helping out folks any way I can. Don't misunderstand, Rob. Lynn earned her spot on the crew like anyone else. It was her talent and determination that made it happen. Her parents' positions provided an environment for her to learn, but that's it. Lynn got to where she is now, entirely on her own. It's okay, Alma. No, she's right. Sometimes I talk before thinking. Sorry about that. Don't be silly. You don't need to apologize to me, sir. Now, shall we get going?
means we're getting close. Yeah, it's just ahead. Um, Elma? Relax. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. Yeah, I know what you mean, but... <sighs> No signs of any radiation. Infrared, motion sensors, I got nothing. This thing's dead as a doornail. Oh, man! So it's basically a skill, right? But the Nake is nothing like ours. Or the Ganglions. Where could it be from? Oh, wow! I can't even tell what its armor is made of! What is this feeling? It's oppressive. It's pulsing off of this thing. It's almost as if the ghost of its pilot is somehow still lingering. And that material there, at its core, it's dark matter. This must be their handiwork. Sorry, I'm fine, just thinking. All right, well, we got what we came here for. Let's call in the salvage jobbers and get it out of here. Lynn, contact Commander Vanda. On it. Start heading back too. Mm, just thinking about walking past all those tainted again makes my knees all wobbly. Tatsu have just the thing. Friends fuel up with Tatsu tasty lunch box. Tatsu, what are you doing here? Tatsu knew friends must be hungry, so Tatsu rides spinny thing here to deliver hot meal. Tatsu Hero Pond, after all. Ugh, idiots! You're gonna attract the tainted! Relax, Lindley. After quick lunch, Tatsu fly back home on Spinny Plane before anyone noticed. And how exactly do you plan to do that? All the Spinny Planes have already left. You're gonna have to walk back. Through all those tainted! You won't last ten seconds out here! Huh? <sighs> Maybe we can get another chocolate here in time. Too late. <laughs> Looks like somebody else wants to fight. Tatsu, don't move an inch, you hear? Every time, Tatsu. Come on.
The Alpha? Good lord. Everyone, take him down. Fun. Let's get the hell out of here. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me.
Was that thing trying to help us? Maybe. Or maybe it was just toying with us. Well, I think I could have taken it. <laughs> we should get back to New L.A. I want to stop by the hangar and get a better look at that skell. Right. I wish I was this strong when I needed to be. Good work, people. Commander? What are you doing out here? Did they seal off the area? Actually, I was waiting for you, Lynn. Hmm? Why me? You want to tinker with that new alien mech? Well, I mean, duh. Good, because I'm putting you in charge of research. You help reel it in, you get first crack at it. You and your team risked a lot out there. You earned it. Really, sir? Everything's set up. They're expecting you. Yes, sir! Oh my god, thank you so much, Commander! Is this even a skell? I mean, the external armor maybe, but I'm not detecting any known materials or components for the purple frame part. In fact, I can't even find a power source. Maybe it's like an idol or something? To some alien god or whatever? What about a cockpit? Or any space for a pilot? Let's see here. There is a cavity in the middle of the chest area. If this thing is a vehicle, that'd have to be the cockpit. Hmm. Perhaps it's not a weapon? It was abandoned, after all. And in that godforsaken place. But it was also worth the ganglion sacrificing all those soldiers to try and recover it. Surely it must hold some value. Granted. Now the question is whether we'll be able to uncover it. Ms. Ku is one of our best, but we can't expect her to work miracles. If you ask me, that's time better spent studying that Ares of yours, Elma. All right, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, would you? Let me explain. The Ares is what Elma abandoned. Oh, uh, right.
Those are your orders. Have I made myself clear? Quiet. You seem displeased, Gajar. Perhaps the great hero of Roth does not enjoy taking orders from the gang. Perhaps he feels it beneath him. It appears nothing is beneath me of late. Hmm. I still hear the anger in your voice, the way you spit out the words. Accept your fate. Then you might find me a more accommodating master, Prince Jar. Oh, but how rude of me. Should I have said, former prince? I never cared much for titles, council, and Luxar. It's Grand Master, damn you! The entire Ganglion organization is at my command, as are you and your people. I will not remind you again. Oh, but how rude of me. My sincere apologies, Grand Counselor. Hmm. Have you also forgotten the price the Rothian people will pay if you fail me? I promise you, it will not be pretty. What will happen if the humans beat you to the prize? Need I remind you of that as well? No, you need not. Then mind your tongue, former prince. Unless your pride can feed and close your people. Filthy cur. Yet I will suffer him gladly. If he can help lead me to you. Hey. Want to team up?
Working hard out there. Am I 
right? Hmm? 